One way to motivate students is to provide choice and throw a little gamification in there. I've created some updates to alicekeeler.com slash badge game. So what you'll do is you'll go to alicekeeler.com slash badge game and you're gonna make a copy of the template. Once you've made a copy, you'll see you have the option to be able to put in quest titles with the description and how hard you think it is and how much XP you want it to be worth. Now, XP is not how many points the assignment is worth or that the task is worth. In fact, I would recommend that you make the entire spreadsheet one assignment, one grade in the gradebook, and the XP is just how they level up in the spreadsheet. So what I do is I set a certain level that students have to reach in order to submit their assignment. So you'll see I have some defaults. Some game theories, you always want the first couple of things to be wicked easy that anyone could complete. So I might have for them to color a map or copy down a definition. And then try and create some creative titles for your quests. It's very challenging sometimes. And when students check off, you'll see that there is a progress bar up here to help them to see how long until they reach the next level. And you'll notice that when they check it off that they get a little badge image. So let's look at some of the new features that I've created. So you want to come up and where it says Game Designer. And I have several options on here and one of the new features is Color Changer. So I'm going to choose Color Changer and you're going to have to authorize the add-on. It is safe. I have personally coded this Everything that I've coded, I usually do not submit them to Google. So you're going to get a warning that says, Google has not approved this. And that's correct, because I haven't submitted it to them to be approved. But you're just authorizing yourself access to your own files. I have no access to anything. It's safe to authorize. Once it's authorized, you're going to need to do this again. Go back to the game designer up at the top next to the help menu and choose color changer. And you'll notice it'll just randomly switch the colors of your game. And so you can just keep doing it. You can also manually highlight and use the paint can to change the colors of your game. Or you can use the game designer color changer to set it as something random. So what I'm going to do is I want to go through here and I want to create a whole list of quests. And what makes it a game is that there is choice. So you want to put more things on the spreadsheet than they are required to do. So what are different ways that they can get to level 10 or whatever level you set it on? Speaking of levels, you'll notice the levels tab. When you click on this, you can set what is the minimum amount to get to each level. And so you can choose that on there. And if you want on the badges tab, you can change the badges. I have an entire library of badges. So I would just copy the link to this badge and replace it over here that column B is the badges you're using and over here column J is just badges you could use. So I could just grab this link and then I replace the link on the badges tab and then over on the mark off page you will notice that when I mark it off and now has the new badge. All right, so that's always been there. That is not new, but what is new is that you can now create a slides tutorial. And so what that's gonna do is automatically create a Google Slides for this level up game. And you'll see that for each of the quests, there is now a click here and if I click here, it links to a Google Slides, but more specifically, it links to the specific slide for that tutorial. So what if you'll notice here, it says this is the directions for Quest 44, and I come up here, you can see this one is the directions for Quest 35. So what I do is for each quest, I want to expand on and give directions and more details. And so I can do that on a Google Slides. And Google Slides are multimedia, so I can embed a video, I can embed a screenshot, I can embed any kind of pictures along with the directions on how to do that particular quest or what information they need 
for that particular quest. So the slides is automatically created for you. The slides are automatically shared. Anyone can view. And the link is placed in the spreadsheet that automatically links to that exact slide. So you'll build all your directions and all your tutorials in one place in the one Google Slides for the entire badge game, which makes it really convenient because you don't have to have like a lot of documents. You only have to have one. Now, if you don't need a tutorial for that particular quest, you can simply just delete where it says click here. And sometimes I might just put a link to a YouTube video or something else for resources that I want them to do. The students do have a box to put in their evidence. And a new feature in Google Sheets is you can insert image in cell so if they've taken a screenshot they can insert the screenshot right on there or if they have a google doc or something in google classroom they can link to their evidence on the spreadsheet all right so once i have created my entire badge game this is oops put it in the right spot this is super hard it's worth 50 xp i do want to make sure none of them are checked so that i have my whole template ready to go, that my levels are the way that I want them, my badges are the way that I want them, and then this is a new feature. When you go to the game designer, you can now come to create student version. So when I create a student version, now it can take a little bit for the student version to be created. So what it does, it takes a copy of your spreadsheet, this is your master, and makes a copy of it, except it uses import range. So any edits you make to the quest titles, the XP, to the badges, and to the levels will automatically be reflected in the student versions. You're gonna wanna add the student version into Google Classroom where you make a copy per student. Each student would have their own copy of the template, but you can do it with the student version so that when you make an update, it updates all of the student copies. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Get this link. Okay. So now that I'm in here in the student version, you'll notice there are a couple of differences. First of all, there's no menu. So on the teacher version, you have the game designer menu where you can do some different things. Students don't have that. So they can't change the colors. Well, they could manually, but they can't do it with the menu or to make the copies of a student version. The other thing is you'll see that it says the mark off tab, where they'll be able to mark off their quests. Now the badges will come in, the XP will come in, the titles will come in, the links to the slides will come in. So when they click on here, they're actually gonna open up that same tutorial slides. It doesn't copy the tutorial slides. It just gives them directions. As you can again see, these are the directions for Quest 3. So you'll wanna set those. All those come in, but the students have their own individual copy where they're able to check off which of the quests they choose, which level they are, and then they can turn in this entire spreadsheet to you.